Welcome to Wikizone. Today, we're diving straight into the latest controversy involving far-right commentator Nick Fuentes, who has sparked outrage with a disturbing remark following Donald Trump's recent election victory. Your body, my choice, forever. This statement has ignited discussions about misogyny and control in today's political landscape. Let's get into the details. Nick Fuentes, known for his extremist views and white supremacist associations, has made headlines before, but this remark, your body, my choice, crosses a new line. This phrase has long been used as a symbol of women's reproductive rights. By twisting it, Fuentes trivializes women's struggles for autonomy, using it to assert disturbing control. It's part of a broader trend where misogynistic rhetoric seems to be gaining traction in today's political discourse. The backlash has been intense. Social media has erupted with criticism from activists, commentators and the general public, condemning Fuentes' words as blatant misogyny. Many are pointing out that this kind of rhetoric is a symptom of a growing culture that disregards women's rights. There's been an increase in online harassment directed at women since the election, with some extremists even echoing Fuentes' words. This points to a troubling normalization of misogynistic attitudes. This comment isn't just a one-off, it reflects a deeper trend within certain political circles where misogyny is not only present but openly celebrated. Critics worry this attitude could worsen if unchecked, affecting real-world views on gender equality. As such rhetoric becomes more visible, the response from society, especially institutions, will determine if we're moving towards equality or backsliding. This situation underscores the need for vigilance against misogyny and the importance of advocating for women's rights. The fight for equality continues, and we must stand against hate speech to ensure all voices, especially those advocating for respect and autonomy, are heard. Thanks for watching Wikizone. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on critical social issues.